Lesson 13.5, finding key features of a parabola from its conic form. So we've seen this before. There's two different ones because if x is being squared, it's going to open up or down. So it all then depends on the sign of this value. So it's going to open up if it's positive or it's going to open down if it's negative. The vertex, of course, is going to be at h comma k every single time. The p value, so always taking that number divided by 4 will give you the p value. That's the distance. The vertex is to the focus and to the directrix. And um, the other one is saying your y value is being squared. So it's got symmetry um, horizontally. So it's either going to open left or right. Again, depending on the sign of this value here. So it's either going to open like this, to the left, or to the right. Okay, so let's try some, to pull that information out of an actual equation. So when I see x being squared, I know that's an open up or down. That's one of these. So the vertex, let's pick that out. That's 6, negative 8. The opening direction, so up or down, but this is a negative value. So it's going to open down. Axis of symmetry. Uh, let's sketch this real quick. So if I'm going to draw a coordinate plane and I'm at 6, negative 8. Let's put that here. Okay, and I'm opening down. The axis of symmetry is something we've talked about before with quadratics, it is the imaginary line. I'm going to put AOS, axis of symmetry. It's the imaginary line that would cut the parabola in half where you could fold it over that line and it would match. And so in this case, it's going to be a vertical line, VUX. It's going to cut through the X axis where? Well, it's going to cut through wherever the vertex is X coordinate is. This is at X is 6. So I almost always have to sketch a picture. You don't have to do it on a coordinate plane, you just do it on your whiteboard or whatever, just to see what I'm trying to find. The focus is going to be the point inside of here. And then we want it to be negative um, 20 divided by negative 4, which would be a p-value of 5. So it would be 5 units inside of here. And so it's going to be taking the y-value of this point, the 6, negative 8, and moving it down five more. So if I took the point six, negative eight, and I wanted to go down five more on the y value, now that would be at six, negative 13. And then the directrix is going to be five units above it. So I'm gonna take the same point, and I'm gonna add five, and then negative eight plus five would put me at six comma negative three. And I don't even need that. I guess the director should be a line. That's going to be right here, and it's going to be horizontal, where all I need to know is now the y value. So it would be y equals negative 3 is the equation of this line. You will not have to do all of these on one single problem. I, you'll have only one of these asked at a time. I just thought it would be easier to go ahead and see the full picture and to save paper and time hopefully okay so let's try another one number two we've got a y being squared excuse me y being squared and so this is going to either open left or right and this is positive so we're going to say this is opening to the right so it's going to be like this one the vertex we got to start with the x value the h comma k so it'd be negative nine comma five and then I'm going to sketch it real quick. Negative 9, 5. Let's say that's right here. It's going to open to the right somehow. Okay, and axis of symmetry this time is going to be an imaginary line running horizontally that cuts it in half. So it's going to be a y equals hoy, y equals whatever the y value of the vertex is. So it would be y equals 5. 
And then the focus is going to be the point inside of here. We're going to take 12 divided by 4. And that's going to equal 3 units. So we're going to go in 3 units to be here. So it should be a point. So that takes the vertex. And this time, since I'm going right, I'm going to change the x value. So I need to add 3. So that would get me negative 6, 5. The y value doesn't change. And then the directrix is going to be running vertically back behind it, 3 units. So I guess really I should have put the plus 3 there, but it's going to go back 3 from here and now be at negative 12,5. Or the line then would be a vertical going through the x-axis, so x equals negative 12 would be my answer. But again, sketching the picture is definitely the way to go.